Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is David Floor with my hydrogen generator. But it is not my generator. But it is a generator. No, it's a water pump. It's a generator. Water pump. Oh, okay. There's our water pump. It used to have fan blades on it, okay? And let me see if I can get this thing down. You see, I got some meters set up over here. And then I'm showing you uh, when I get this thing going that it's going to run this DC fan. This is be putting out AC power, okay? Alternate, alternating current, which a DC fan should not be able to run. But like the guy said, somehow it changes from... AC to DC right there at the, those lines. Now, I got these things crossed here. I did have them crossed. I had both of these on here so they would uh, stay together. So I have two meters on, okay? I've got a Harbor Freight. I got it set on DC on 20 volts right here okay you can't see that because I'm in a damn light but uh let's get over on this side DC right here on 20 volts I think I do yes it's right there and I got on 200 AC right here you probably can't see that get down there close see if you can focus on that Hardly doubt it. But um, this goes on minus, as in DC, which I got it on, but it shouldn't be going minus. It should be going positive. But I guess being DC, it's minus. So I got two voltage meters next to each other. Um, now, the, the uh, black one is a Harbor Freight. So you can uh, check for... Uh, amperage on line and this one does not have that but I got it to the meter part not the external uh, like I said I got this one on AC this one's on DC I get a minus with uh, that one but right now I'm gonna show you something else now this is old water this is a water pump come out of a wash machine okay and that's uh, that's the uh, magnet right here. There's no brushes and there's no uh, bearings in here. It's just a floating head in this plastic container, okay? But when it gets near this um, this um, coil, it, um, let me turn it up here like that, it creates electricity. And I've done it without the... Um, um, thing inserted in here. That's where it goes. It goes up in here, okay? And uh, let me lay it back down to show you. So when I turn this thing on, I got, got on this drill over here. See, it just stuck to it. This is the magnet. Boom. See that? That's the magnet. Let's try to pull it. See that? Okay, now I'm going to get it off. And I'm going to turn this thing. Turn it on. See that? You don't see the fan. Let me get this both in here. Let me just touch it. Watch it. Watch the fan. Well, I have something on here. I was just doing it just a second ago. I don't know what's going on. Uh, hold on. Either I'm doing something wrong. Turn on the... I hate doing this one. When I'm trying to do something, I can't do it. I'm trying to prove something. Here, it's not proving me wrong. Okay. There we go. 
This time outside of his casing. Okay, you see that moving? And we have this on the outside of this. So that's. So how did that do that? You tell me. We turn that on. electricity didn't we with a pump that's a pump that's supposed to be pumping water and electricity going back into these wires and making this thing work I'm making the pump as a generator okay the pump is the generator now okay let me show you something here and pull this apart and show you how this thing goes together this thing goes together like this. Okay, let me get my other hand over here. This goes together over here. All right, let's see if I can get it up there and push it together. It likes to slide by itself. See that? It slides by itself. My, I didn't have it up there. My bad. It slides right in there. All right. And that makes the motor, okay? Not a generator. It's a pump. But it creates electricity. Look at this. All right? It's creating electricity. Okay, now I'm going to show you the voltage I'm getting off, off this. I can go... This is a 12-volt DC motor, okay, brushless. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see here if I can get it turned around. Get the wires out of the way. All right. Uh, get the camera out of the way so you can see the light. All right. See brushless down there. Okay, uh, since that's brushless, and this is brushless, that can be a, a um, generator too. So they will work both ways, either you put electricity to them, or it can put electricity out. Throw electricity in the opposite direction. Okay, let's do this. Look at the meters here. This one's on AC and that one's on DC. So I'm gonna crank this thing up and watch the numbers. The other one's not going because the other one's not hooked up to it. It's laying over here off of it, way over here. So let me get it back over here so it'll stay there. Okay, let's put the number back up here. And let me get a little bit closer what they are right there so you can see both of them. Both of them at the same time. Okay, here we go. There would be a wire in the way, wouldn't there? Can't see the gun minus or anything. The bag of wire in the way. Okay. So you know it's running. Okay. Okay. I like this guy. Uh, this is up on YouTube, and this is um, just uh, see that title up there. Just put that in on YouTube, 
and you'll find this this pretty interesting program. He's showing uh, that this is cold, cold radiated, uh, cold fusion. I guess I don't know, but you have to watch this thing. This is getting interesting because uh, I'm thinking about putting that thing in my car and getting it uh, going on my uh, fan belt in a certain way and using that for my energy for my hydrogen generator instead of using the alternator to create my um, power. But I won't know how to use it on this. This is a DC going into this, period, okay? I don't know how that would run that, but if it can run the fan over here, 12 volt, it can run this, okay? And that's an AC pump. That's an AC pump, okay? But it's a generator, too. How about that? Interesting, huh? Uh, this guy... <laughs> I just kind of found him up on YouTube on energy stuff, and he and he's showing stuff over unity. Okay, how can you take 120 volt and a 1200 watt uh, generator and power? He has three heaters and a uh, chop saw. Run running from a 1200 watt generator, and each one of them. Is over 1500 watts off of a 1200 watt generator. It should have blown that doggone fuse off the doggone generator. Figure that one out. It's pretty neat. I'm going to do some more experiments before I even think about putting this thing in the car. But uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay. Thank you, YouTube, for letting me put this up. I had fun doing this, and uh, uh, thank you, Facebook. I uh, hope y'all guys have fun with your all's experiment. I just started this the other day, and uh, I'm just having fun with it. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Have a good one.